Hello, my name is Linda Ikechuko, and if you've watched any of our previous videos, then you know that I'm the resident developer advocate here at Small Step Labs. Now, today I'll be talking about and showing you the bring your own root future on the Small Step platform. If you want to adopt modern PKI methods, standards, or protocols like ACME OIDC, that are not supported by legacy PKIs like Active Directory, and you do not want to go through the painful process of rotating your current root CA to a new small step root CA. Or maybe you just operate in a regulated industry and need to have absolute control over how your root keys are created, stored, and protected. Then the Bring Your Own Root feature is for you. Now, with Bring Your Own Root, you upload your existing Root CA certificate to the Small Step platform. And then Small Step generates a certificate sign in request using your Root CA public key, which you must then sign offline using your Root sign in key before uploading it back to the Small Step platform. The public key on your Root certificate will then be used to validate this signature. And then Small Step will use the signed certificate request to generate an intermediate CA certificate and key, which will then be used to issue certificates to endpoints within your fleet without disrupting your chain of trust. So come along, let me show you how that works on the Small Step platform. So we'll start by creating a new authority. And we'll change the authority type to advanced authorities because bring your own roots is only available on advanced authorities. Click next. Now we have the option to either create a new route or upload an external route. And since we want to bring our own route, we'll click on the upload external route option. Here we can either upload our route by dragging and dropping it into the space or just clicking here. I have a route set stored on my machine, so we'll just use that. Then we'll be asked to customize our intermediate issuer. I'll just rename this. There are a bunch of advanced options down here and you can fill that out to meet whatever requirements you have, but this is a demo, so. Now a certificate sign-in request has been created for us and we'll have to download that certificate sign-in request, sign it with our offline root CA set and root CA key, and then upload it right back. So let me just download the CSR. And now that I've downloaded it, I'm going to bring up my finder and move that CSR into the same directory as my root set and root key. The next thing is for me to sign that CSR. So I'll just go ahead and copy this sample command here and bring up my terminal. Then I have to change the root CA certificate and key file name to match what I have on my device.
great. Now our CSR has been signed and we have to upload it back to the small step platform. So I'm just going to copy this and put it in a file and then upload it back. Save that and great. Now I'll upload my signed CSR. And that's it. An intermediate certificate and signing key has been created from my offline route and now small step can use this intermediate ca to sign and issue certificates for endpoints in your fleets without disrupting your chain of trust